Hey there, Tundra Nation, and welcome back to the channel today on Tundra Tactical. We drop the fat tips on how we've been beating the ammo shortage. My prayers have finally been answered. So make sure to drop the video a like, stay tuned, thanks for watching, and let's start the show. Last year has been an absolute roller coaster for the 2A community, and while panic buying has slowed down quite a bit, it appears that the only reason that it's slowed down is because there is nothing left on the store shelves to buy and the market has been kind of slow to catch up with demand. The pandemic's kiss has been slow, but firm and unyielding, much like an old man backing his Lincoln Town car over a handicapped parking sign. You want to go to the range, but you haven't been able to purchase any ammunition for the better part of a year. Stick around, folks, and we will share some tips on how to keep you amused and engaged with the lifestyle that you love until you're able to purchase some ammo without having to follow a treasure map to that one store in your state that is expecting a 9 mil shipment tomorrow night. whoop de doo you are not going to need a treasure map to find our sponsor this week, and that is Sportsman's Guide. If you guys are having trouble finding those Freedom Seeds or looking to buy your next blaster, only a few days late on that one, then why not check out our buddies over at Sportsman's Guide. We here at Tundra Tactical love supporting companies that are local to us, and you guys love us, so it seems to be a match made in heaven. Wait, what? They don't love us? Then why the hell are they here? Ha ha ha, that does explain the comment section. Well, even if you don't love us, you should love Sportsman's Guide because of their good prices, especially when paired with the membership discount. Make sure to support the businesses that support our channel and check them out today, folks. Okay, the first step to beating the ammo shortage is to broaden your horizons. Me, you, the old lady, a little sandwich action? Yeah, come on. You're a piece of white bread, she's a piece of white bread on the salami, let's give it a shot. If you're idiotic enough to still enjoy this rolling dumpster fire of a channel, I'm pretty sure you're very stuck in your ways. But if you ask me whether I prefer rifles or shotguns, I'm gonna say, dude, I don't know. Do you prefer to inhale or exhale? Just give me the dang boomstick so I can pretend to know what I'm doing. Most of us here are probably balls deep in our scary black rifles or pistols, but maybe, just maybe, you can explore your inner FUD just a little bit and try blasting some clay pigeons off your back porch to keep Papa Biden appeased. For those of you who don't understand that that was a joke, Tom Cruise has some advice for you. Take a big step back and literally f your own face! Shotgun shells are about the only ammo you can find these days without performing some complicated pagan ritual where you have to make an unholy sacrifice to John Browning and Eugene Stoner while inhaling some intoxicant that you bought off a teenager at GameStop. Kalima. Kalima Shakti Here's a great parallel to help you understand what I mean. How long have you been trying to convince your old lady that she doesn't know she wouldn't like butt stuff until she's tried it? If you at least attempt to shoot scattershot from a smoothbore, you might, just might be able to prove that you are also willing to try something new and scary. Okay, folks, get ready for a fancy word here. Accoutrement. Our real and totally not made up sources tell us that this is an ancient Greek word for extra crap. Wrong. Now, I already know that you've got your Glocks all Gucci'd out and your AR has more gadgets on it than that spoiled brat Swiss Army knife that you were super jealous of in Cub Scouts. But what about all the other things that you can get to make yourself look like a totally real operator without actually doing anything challenging? Body armor is getting surprisingly affordable these days, and it'll have you LARPing around like the tank you were meant to be since the first day you tasted fried bread. Just like your rifle though, not sticking things to your plate carrier will make you feel incomplete and emptier than a training class fronted by the Yankee Marshal and Voda. A great place to start is with patches and ammo pouches. If you really want to let people know that you're ready to look the devil in the brown eye and tell them that you are the shit storm meant to be feared, then get some unlicensed Punisher logos and put them on everything. Beware, my friend. Shit winds are coming. If you want to be just a little more subtle, there's always the option of slapping on some self-deprecating patches that tell people that you understand that you're no good, and even low expectations may be too lofty for you as a person. After you've found a plate carrier that isn't too heavy but might still stop the imaginary bullets that your pizza boxes don't shoot back at you with, start adding way too many pouches and filling them with things that you do not need. 13 magazines, an expensive radio that you can talk to yourself on because you don't have any friends, binoculars because you got a good deal on them, a compass that you don't know how to use, extra batteries for that optic that has a 30,000 hour battery life, 
and carabiners for all those things that don't fit into the admin pouches. The more things that you have dangling from your vest, the better. The goal here is to create a cross between a ghillie suit and a cartoonish representation of an ox-drawn cart traveling west in the early 1800s. You know what? How about learning something that might actually be useful? Wait, what did you just say to me? That plate carrier should have a first aid kit on it somewhere. It's probably tucked behind the energy drink pouch on mine, but yours might be just a little bit different. The reason we bring this up should be obvious. The fact that you are still watching this tells me that you are likely the type of person that is of great danger to themselves and others. Much like a commercial for a home cleaning product that depicts teenage boys as vile maniacs caked in uncleansable amounts of garbage, people could sell IFAX to you by playing on the very real struggle that you've been using an escalator without causing serious bodily harm for way too long and your time is due. Pants get caught in a bloodbath ensues. You know what's even better than having some ibuprofen and Spongebob band-aids on your kit? It's knowing how to appropriately apply them to treat real injuries and wounds. If you can bear with me for just a moment and imagine one of those headaches with pictures, I think most people call them thoughts, don't worry, that's going to happen to you when you realize that you're capable of having thoughts that are actually useful, by the way. Why are you the way that you are? You could take a class or two or do some studying online on first aid and you will be likely much more valuable to your cohort when the packs of TP hoarding ravagers sweep across our nation and send you all running to the hills to live off the land, just like you've been hoping for ever since Obama took office. Thanks, Obama. If you're wondering what to do with all that money that you made dumping your kid's college fund into GameStop stock or Dogecoin, there is one form of tactical elitism that few have the financial fortitude to jump into. Night Vision is the coolest, most high-speed piece of kit that you're ever going to buy and probably never find a practical application for. All right, I'm going to go cry. This is the ultimate flex on the pores, and you guys know how much we love that around here. What's that? You think you're better than me? This flex involves dumping enough money to cover your mortgage for a year into an electronic gizmo that fits into your cargo pocket and that you leave in the basement for years at a time because going outside at night means you have to contend with mosquitoes and werewolves. You will at least be able to tell everybody at the range though that you have them. People will instantly assume that you know what you're talking about on every other 2A related topic because they can't afford a decent set of nods. You couldn't actually afford them either, but that's beside the point. Be careful here, please, because the only thing more lame than showing up to a training class with an omni-hybrid AR is showing up with that $150 Call of Duty night vision set that you bought off Amazon. This is definitely a buy once, cry once game where the stakes are higher than a white kid with dreadlocks at an ICP concert. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video and want some more, make sure to check out these two cripplers right here. And don't forget to join us next week when we still don't know what the f we're doing.